Hello there and welcome back to this invisible Ferris wheel. Oh, there, there it is. There it is. <laughs> oh, there's gone. It's gone. And it's back. And it's gone. Um, so yeah, I guess the textures on this Ferris wheel uh, kind of just disappear. <laughs> and I think it's because... Uh, I, I, I bet that's why. Uh, because the textures, these aren't custom textures. These are actually uh, borrowed textures from other objects in the game. And this game really isn't that greatly graphically optimized. Um, it definitely has its uh, ugliness to it. Uh, but I, I think that's to kind of balance, keep, keep a balance. Um, so most machines can run it pretty well. Uh, but I think the textures that whoever used to make this, they used from another object in the game. And that object, by default, actually fades out after a certain distance. Um, those are called LOD textures, um, I think. That's what they're called in several other games. But the, uh, the LOD textures, once you get a certain distance... Well, you have, the, you have the regular textures, and then after you hit a certain distance away from it, it changes to the LOD textures. And the LOD textures are normally, like, scaled down, like, ten times to, uh, to, to, uh, kind of, you know, for, for performance reasons. And my mouse is flashing. My mouse cursor is flashing. Can you guys see that? That's weird. Every time I middle quick. Whoa, that's weird. Every mm, okay, whatever. <laughs> yeah, after after a certain distance, the LED textures kick in, and I think the object for that doesn't actually have LED textures. Um, what is that? What is that? It, it, there's something there floating. Something is floating. Is that is that a boat? What is that? I'm really interested to know what that is. I really want to know what that is. Wow, okay. Whoever made this did some sort of, like, crazy magic trick with this. Um, because, yeah, they, I don't know how you could even make that. Because there's no object in the game shaped like that. Okay, well, welcome back. <laughs> to City Skylines. With your host, Yoon Gray. Who gets sidetracked all the freaking time. Oh man, I get sidetracked so much. So, today I am going to stay on track. Jesus freaking Christ. Okay, this thing right here. Um, I was editing last episode and I was like, I was like, man, this is beginning to become an extreme eyesore. This thing is right here. Hey, I mean, it's right here in the middle of the city, right on the the Anne Hathaway Memorial Highway. It, it's kind of like a weird, like, if Anne Hathaway was walking around in tennis shoes and she forgot to tie her shoes, I think this is what it would look like. Anne Hathaway weighs not. Hmm, okay. Okay, my mouse is doing something weird. I don't know if it's the game. Every time um, I rotate the camera with uh, the scroll wheel, um, it doesn't do it unless I move. So, over here. My mouse is way over here on the left. Wow, that boat was freaking... Wow. I don't know how it didn't lose all its cargo. Jeez. Oh, they're gonna come close. Okay, they're not gonna hit, though. But yeah, every time I... Uh, mouse wheel click and then rotate, it resets my mouse to the center of the screen. Uh, okay. I'm not sure if that's a game thing or if my mouse is doing something weird. I don't know. Okay, well, let's pause it so people don't freak out. And I'm going to get rid of uh, pretty much all of this. And I'm going to try to not get rid of the highway down below. Yeah, ooh, okay. Weird save stutter. Uh, because sometimes, I don't know if it's my mouse or the game, but it thinks I click twice, and if I'm deleting a road above another road, it will be like, oh, you also wanted to delete this road, too. And I'm like, no, I didn't. Uh, okay, yeah. This thing is just, just an eyesore. It's so ugly, 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 ugly. Get rid of it. Um, 
Okay, there was another... Ah, that guy right there. I wanted to fix that. Because <laughs> he was annoying me. What? Really? Okay, you're getting out of here, and I am upgrading that. Thank you very much. Should I keep that there? You know, I'll keep that there. I'll keep these right here, because um, they kind of help this area up here. Yeah, okay, that's fine. And let's draw this back real quick. There we go. Man, that's ugly. Why does it do that? I wish it didn't do that. All right, now what I want to do is get one of these. Um, I'm going to have to... Yeah, that's fine. Delete that little guy right there. Oh, gosh. I hold it. I got to adjust my glasses. Ugh. After, after a certain amount of time wearing these glasses while using uh, the headphones I use. Because uh, my headphones are pretty tight. How can I do this and it look good? Eh, okay. Um, and it just squeezes on my glasses. Eh, it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of in, inconvenient. Alright, so let's raise this up. Is that going to be... Try that. Yeah, that, that looks pretty straight. Actually, let's get this view. Yeah, there we go. That. It looks, that looks so much better. Look at all these floating vehicles. Now what can I do about connecting roads onto it? That's going to be the main issue here. Um, hmm. Okay, I think I'm just going to use the highway ramps. I don't know. What would be the best thing to do here? I guess I'm just going to go with, the, with, with with this. Uh oh, it's going to create some weird angles. Yeah, I'll just just do just do stuff like like these guys. Like that, and then the same thing on this side. Okay. I think I actually drew in the right direction. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> I've got to do some weird angling here. There we go. And then let's just wait, hold on. Upgrade tool and right click. Yeah, there we go. Remove those traffic lights and maybe. Whoa, man! <laughs> maybe this will work. I know this will work. Uh, if the the industry over here wants to get over here, or vice versa, and this may actually help with the traffic. What are you doing? Why are you sitting there in the middle of the road? Jeez, traffic! Quit crossing over. Hmm, I got some strawberry kiwi drink instead of coffee today. So. Let's, let's speed it up. Um, I really don't notice that much of a traffic dif tra trafical difference. Like, no, like graphical. Instead, it, it, it's trafical. Trafical dif difference. That is, that is a weird word to say. Trafical. Okay. Just want to double, double check. Okay, yeah. Everything is right. Got off-ramp, on-ramp, off-ramp on-ramp okay yeah I think this works I think this works much better well I would I won't say much better but I, I, I think more efficiently and space efficiently especially man all these buildings I'm really I think next episode or after I after I get done making this episode I'm going to turn on the automatic bulldoze mod Man, all these people, they're complaining about workers, but my worker demand is just tiny. It's just itty bitty. It's just a little itty bitty baby demand. Okay, wow. The traffic flow is actually... Uh, it's because of these people crossing over. 
I, I wish traffic acted a little bit differently, but hey, you know, sometimes you just gotta work around things. And, uh, yeah, this guy right here. The hydropower plant. He definitely hurt me in the, in the pockets. Or in, in the wallets. You could have anything in your pockets. Um, okay, I, I do have a small demand for industry. And I think I wanna get going some more on this. I'm gonna figure out where, uh... That's the 1x16. Oh, I can actually fit some of these 1x16s in. Okay. Yeah, let's grab the, uh, there we go, that tool. And then there. And there and there. Okay. No, can't do that one. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of that one and grab the one by twelve one if I can find it. I wish it. <laughs> they need to come out with an update for these two. They need to give you the pictures you you took. Oh yes, that fits perfectly. Okay, yeah, they should they should start growing in. That's a, that's a four by three there, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Because I, I didn't draw it right. Okay, and then I can just do the rest up through here. Industry. Yeah. And, uh, hmm. What about that, mm, that fire station? I, I, I guess once I uh, continue with these guys... The, the, the power grid will extend. So let's just draw a bunch of these out through here. Can do some over on this side too. Oh, no. Let's get rid of that guy. There we go. And that should have extended. Yes, it did extend the power. I'm gonna I'm gonna draw from oh 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 whoa oh. what 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 why can't I do this? It won't let me grab the power poles. My screen's flashing. Why is my screen flashing? Uh oh, something weird's going on. Uh, it may be from a mod. I don't know. Oh, I bet it's I bet this uh this weird mouse thing is. A result of one of the mods I, I've just turned on. Uh, because I'm going to be doing another mod review with uh, a bunch of mods. I think one of them is Fine Road Heights. Uh, there's extended building information. There's Flight Simulator. And there's the Tsunami Disaster thing. And uh, I think one of those has caused something weird to happen. Okay, I can place that. But for some reason, I cannot place the power lines weird cannot upgrade to this type is it because I have the whoa uh oh oh whoa that now that was weird uh on on the road tab I had the upgrade road button selected and that was not allowing me to draw power lines so I'm gonna change to the curved one whoa, 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 whoa wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute what whoa am I just realizing this or is this something that you could always do could you because I did not think the road buttons affected how you drew power lines uh, I was talking a few episodes ago about how I wish they would add the 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 road options to power lines, so you could carve power lines. And uh, it <laughs> oh wait 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 it disappeared. Wait what? Okay, I have that selected. Okay, you guys saw. I, I swear to God, I am not going insane. What? 
Okay, I'm gonna go back here and select that. Okay, it's doing it again. This weird screen flashing. So now I'm gonna go back to that. Oh, it's doing it! What? Are you serious? Whoa, look at that! Okay, that's not actually possible in real life. <laughs> but look at that, I have... I have curved freaking power poles. Okay, I've got my thumbnail right here. <laughs> that is freaking crazy. Uh, yeah, now that, now that I think about it, um... Yeah, you really actually can't do this. Uh, because that's physically not how pole or not not the, not the poles but the lines work uh, a little bit though I mean they can curve uh, normally they only curve uh, Jesus freaking Christ stop moving I'm trying to talk to my my friends um, normally they they only curve uh, in a downward gravity affected motion uh, not an actual curve but um, okay, <laughs> I guess. Uh, that's weird. It's definitely a bug caused by another mod. It's got to be. And I, I'm, I'm thinking it's the, uh, one of the road mods. Or one of the road mods? Yeah, I guess I have, I have a couple road mods. The, um, was extended roads and the, uh, the, the, the traffic light toggle. Why is nobody growing up here? Oh, the demand went down, that's why. Um, okay. I'm trying to think of where I could do some more commercial. Okay, let's, okay, just stay on track. Okay, let me check my list. Um, okay, got the industry bridge, got the farms, and now I need to get going on this guy right over here. Because I've kind of left this alone for, God, like five, six episodes. So, I'm going to get rid of this bit and those roads and these roads right here this is a little weird this setup I've got going here um, because I've kind of got the little fingers running back to a uh, an elevated road and then that elevated road goes up to a six lane really elevated road I don't know um, <laughs> I'm going to turn the traffic lights off for up here um, because I actually installed that mod after I placed this, I, I, I think. So let's get rid of these. And are there any down here? No, because all of the all all of the roads extend off of that guy. Okay, we're all good. So this road, how do I want it? I think I want it. So I'm, I'm right, over, right, right here, right, right, right behind here. I had talked a few episodes ago about how I kind of had an idea for this. I think, I think I talked about it. But this is going to be the center for the Eden Project, and I had decided I was going to move this guy. I'm going to move him, and I'm thinking, oh yeah, like, oh wow, he fits in. Awesome, right there, awesome. So let's connect up there. Um, you know what? We don't need those power lines. Because that uh, crematorium actually can't get anybody because their coverage is not um, good enough. Uh, let's actually do that. Okay, this guy has never had any visitors. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Save water. Oh yeah, everybody's got water over here. Okay, now this road. I think I'm gonna have it. I'm gonna have it four lane. And I'm gonna have it with trees. So, what about that? No, a little bit more this way. Okay, right there, and right, no, there, that's it, right there, yep, that's it, 
and then grab one of these and I want to have it parallel so what I think I'll do is I'll do it from turn snap on there and then connect it over to there and then get rid of that so that I can then draw it to there there we go so now I've got this little block right here um, I don't know how big the Eden Project is, though, so let's find it. Medical Center, this is it, the Eden Project. Eden Project is a huge glass house, perfect for vast gardens full of exotic fruits and plants. Greatly increases the city's profile, making land in the city area more valuable. In the city area. I don't know what that exactly means. Because everywhere is the city area. So, does that actually raise the entire uh, land area? Does, does that raise the entire map's land value? Or just the area surrounding it? I don't know. It's kind of vague. So, the Eden Project. We need to get the unique buildings for the Eden Project. Medical Center. Fusion Power Plant. Okay, we got that one. We got those. What is this? Space elevator. Okay, that one's the Hadron. That one's the Eden Project. Okay, so we got that one. Eden Project. Oh, you know what? This guy would look crazy good over here. Like, if I could fit him right along the bank over here. Oh, that would be just fantastic. I could have it right... Oh, I think this is a nice spot for it. Uh, may end up moving it, but I think it's I think it's a good spot. Right there. Yep. So gonna need some power. Because I don't got the power. Okay, now what else? How much did that guy cost? Probably a little much for my budget at the moment. Okay, 400 week, that's nothing. So, what do I need to place now? The servicing services offices. Oh, and he is he is cheap and massive. Wow, this this building is huge. I mean, it's as it's as nearly as big. It's got a bigger footprint actually. No, it's got the same size footprint as the uh, colossal order offices. So, what kind of building is this? This is this is an office building, definitely. So, I'm thinking somewhere over in here. Wow, my mouse is doing weird things. Jeez, mouse. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Could he fit right here? Would it fit? Uh, no, it wouldn't fit because eh, it's clipping. I really want it over here. I think this would be such a cool spot for it. But... He doesn't fit. He almost fits. So I'm thinking about... Okay. Let's get rid of that road. Is that a one-way? Uh, no, that is actually a two-way. And then connect it up to there. Oh. Was that... Um, will that work? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. That will definitely work. Yeah, I think he would look so good right there on that corner. Yeah. Yeah. That's perfect. So that is a cool building. Oh, that's that's actually a really cool building. I like the design. I like the um it, it's it's almost like a uh a, a granite or some sort of marble. That's nice, yeah. That definitely looks like granite. Or mar that's more that's more the color of marble. Granite is more brown. Marble is more green and blue. So that's cool. I kind of don't like the the raised area right here. And you know what? I could actually. Oh wait, wait. Where did it go? Where where did it go? One of my mods disappeared. Right here, right here in the bottom right corner. 
the uh, the terraforming mod is gone. It's not active anymore. That's a little weird. So I need to. Mm, okay, these are these were offices here. But I'm gonna do commercial. And I'm gonna leave that spot right there. Um, I'm gonna do this low density right beside the skate park. Because I don't want the building to like absolutely overpower it. Okay, so we got that in, and now we can actually place the Eden Project. Pretty sure. Pretty sure we can. Can we? Uh, I may have to look it up. Yeah, I'm not... <laughs> I'm, I'm not financially uh, sustainable enough to place that, actually. So, what else? Do I need a place? No, none of these are are prerequisites. Okay, that was the medical center. That was the fusion power plant. That's mod. Um, this this one was that's the Eden Project one. Um, what about that? This is space elevator. That's the medical center. Space elevator, medical center. What about this way? Ah, okay. Cathedral of Plentitude. So, where can I... That's what, what kind of building is this? What is this? Oh, damn it. It went away. What is this? It's like a space futuristic church. The gorgeous cathedral celebrates how fantastic the city has become. Open for all religions. Okay, so yes, it is a religious um, center. So, hmm, I'm, I'm thinking, where could I, where would this go? Where does this go? I'm thinking over here in, in Lincoln Park. Lincoln Park, and <laughs> names aside, uh, I think Lincoln Park is going to be kind of um, a modest, kind of middle wealth, almost out of the city, but not really, um, kind of more religious area, I feel like. Yeah, this is going to be the religious. This is going to be the uh, the Bible Belt buckle. <laughs> Yeah, the Bible Belt buckle right here, right smack dab in the middle of the city. And uh, I think this guy is going to go somewhere in here. Um, I had originally left this open for the airport, but we get, we got the airport in several episodes ago, several dozens of episodes ago, and I need to end the episode. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, maybe we'll get the Eden Project going next episode. I'm going to... I think off camera, I'm going to try and figure out my uh, financial situation and uh, plan for the future. And hopefully next episode, I can get the uh, the Cathedral and the Eden Project both in. Um, I really want to see how big the Eden Project is. I, I almost wish they would let you place it. And I bet it's the same size as this. And, uh, oh wow, that is actually, if it is this size, that is the perfect size. Yeah, that would be the perfect size right there. So, uh, yep, yeah, okay. I'll catch you guys on the next episode.